get a new radio tomorrow or today so I can listen to it over the weekend. Yeah, the general consensus on Jackie in the email was... Gee, I forget I forget what people's impressions were. I think you know, most I, people liked him. Most people liked Jackie. Jackie was good yesterday, right? Yes, he was. I thought he did a good job. Came in, he was full of uh, energy, had a couple of jokes ready. Uh, it's good to check in with Jackie had here and there. Had some old stories. Yeah. I like Jackie I, like this. <laughs> it's much better when he just comes in once every year or something. You know, there would be days like that with Jackie when we worked with him. They just weren't consistent. Right. No, I, I always liked Jackie. <laughs> I liked working with the guy. It was all the other horse shit I couldn't handle. <laughs> well, you know, I got a chance to read Howard uh, HowardStern.com, you know, the... Uh, recap on the uh, website yeah and it was great because down there it said that uh, what Artie made for one show and that he was begging his uh, his wife for uh, money for his next project his ex-wife yes so it, you know it's just uh, I can't wait for the weekend so I can hear the replay yeah, it was uh, it was fun. It was good fun yesterday. All right, thank yeah, you. Yeah, one of these days we have to have. I didn't know Jackie was doing doing so much film work. <laughs> we have to have a Jackie Martin film festival. Well, he goes to Con, can, con or Can or whatever. Yeah, he was like he loves Can and Sundance. He there goes. Must, there must be a special section at Can for shitty movies. <laughs> I mean that Jackie goes to because Jackie's in the shittiest movies. Yeah, you know? barely was that Can. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but you know what I mean. I mean he. Is in movies that are barely movies. I mean, like that. Clip. Yeah, like the movies that no one releases. How do you get into those things? You have to like pay an entry fee just to get. That's the film. It's money that they probably can probably pays for everything. So it's by, not like you're invited because of your excellent work. They but, charge every shit out of things. There's an auteur, a bunch of money. But, and, but somehow Jackie, you know, is at Cannes and he's in a movie and he really feels things are happening. And it's like, like we said yesterday. What does he turn down? Maybe he, Jackie goes to a special place called Garbage Can. <laughs> Maybe that's You know, like this can, this can and then Garbage Can. It's Sundance. <laughs> I'm going to Garbage Can. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Could Jackie ever be in a good movie? I don't think so. No, because that would make the movie No, bad. it was a great movie. I made out with Mrs. Brady. Hey. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> I made out with Florence and this No she was hot. I got a tingle. You know Jackie's sixty, the Florence Henderson was hot. Oh boy. <laughs> you mean when I turned sixty I'm gonna be making out with Florence Henderson? Yeah, yeah, and thinking it's hot. Well he didn't say when he did the movie, was it nineteen sixty eight? No, it was uh, Last within week. the past five years. He does a movie a week. He does, like I said, like he's I, almost like a porn star. He I'm in a movie that. with Jackie because there's a guy in Jersey who does movies every once in a while, and <laughs> he asked Danny Aiello to be in one years ago, and I did a part because I, I was a friend of a friend, and that's probably the one he did on his contract break that he was talking about because I think when Jackie does a movie, it's automatically like you know it's bad. <laughs> like, would you ever believe Jackie was like if Jackie was an Iron Man? I go, I'm not going to go see that. <laughs> Hey, Iron Man, fuck you. <laughs> Pepper, Pods, get it? Pods. I'm dying to see the visual of that scene we played with the two mob guys. Hiring. Oh, I know. That I've was seen so it. bad. You've seen the visual? Yeah, someone sent me a clip of it. It's funny. <laughs> I don't even think they're mob guys. I think they're White House guys. Oh, yeah. are they? But, yeah. they're, mo but they're like mafiosos. Uh, yeah, right. they're saying like the, That's the, the joke. White House yeah. mob. Yeah, and, and no indecent material. That's what we are. All right. Should we play that clip? Yeah. Oh, I love that. Right, here's Jackie, oh, one of Jackie's movies. This is the premise. Gary, what page is that on? Uh, give me one second. got to put it back okay. on. Okay. The president don't like that shit. <laughs> Jackie's in a movie. It was obviously shot in Jersey. And actually, really, they're not supposed to be mob guys. They are supposed to be senators, but right. like, you know, badasses. And Jackie's been hired to speak at a government function to do his comedy act. Right. He's president. supposed to entertain the president. Oh. Yeah. Riley uh, Jackie Page. Yeah, Jackie Martling. That, that get this premise: the real Jackie Martling is hired to entertain the president. And it's an orange. He Jackie as himself. He can't even get on the dais of the friars. <laughs> now he's entertaining the president. And <laughs> that's how you know it's fiction. <laughs> Fantasy. So he walks in, and there are two senators there, who are giving Jackie a hard time about performing and what he'll be doing in front of the president. The guidelines, if you will. Yeah. Where is he, Gar? In orange. Orange. Okay, got it. Got it. 
The Secret Service have arrived. They're all over the place. They're outside. They're on the roof. Yeah, these guys have the worst Jersey they're accents. They're on the roof. And Jackie has the worst Long Island accent. <laughs> it's, just, it's perfect. Its accents collided. <laughs> and the entertainment is just showing up. Right over here. <laughs> Come here. Come right over there. <laughs> this is a United States senator. Oh, my God. Right there, both senators. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Come here, my boy. Hey, Senator. Jack and the Joke Van Marling. How you doing? Stop. <laughs> I guess you know for the oldest gag in the books there, Senator. <laughs> So what do you want me you know, to say? You Jackie's giving two United States senators the buzzer handshake. Right, right, right. Hey, you know, and Jackie's such a confident big star that he, he got can, a swagger, yeah. He can buzz the the hand of a United States senator and then like kind of just pass it off as a giggle. Yeah. Who the fuck wrote this thing? <laughs> I want to know. I want the I want the author Should of this thing. Should he be arrested? <laughs> Yeah, I want the screenwriter in here. <laughs> oh, come on, let's get this thing going, man. Huh? In due time, in due time, uh, uh, joke man, is it? Jackie, just call me Jackie. <laughs> Jackie. Imagine the President of the United States is going to be entertained by Jackie. That's an amazing premise. And where are they that this bad music is playing behind them? In a strip club, I'm sure. <laughs> now, they're in the senatorial office. Oh. Like, in a, like, like the, he's with the... <laughs> I bet our current president would love every one of his jokes. <laughs> Jackie the Joke Man Martling. How you doing? <laughs> well, Jason over here tells me that you have a, a very funny uh, stand-up act. Yeah. I'm assume you've been briefed. I'm assume. There's a couple of things. I'm assume you've been briefed. <laughs> no need to retake. <laughs> Baby, that was on purpose. <laughs> I'm assumed. Hey, Alan? Yeah. Uh, the guys are telling me this is a horror movie, right? Like a legit horror, horror movie. movie. It and sure is. Jackie just sh Jackie's part just shows up out of nowhere. It's not a comedy, but I think the director's a fan of Jackie, so he just sort of crowbarred this scene in. That's good. I'm horrified. <laughs> the director. How about we stop calling everyone a director who directs a movie? You got to at least be in a real. You know, it's got to be a real movie. The director. What is he directing? Director, does he? He didn't even apparently yell "cut" when the guy goes. I'm assumed. <laughs> he didn't say even an ed. I'm assume. <laughs> yeah, I'm assume. <laughs> I say, I say. I think you should know. Hmm. First of all, when you address the president, you never look at him in his eyes. Yeah, him and Michael Jackson. Okay, because he uh, hates that shit. Yeah, all right, Senator. He hates that shit. That shit. Come on. <laughs> all right. And cool. second, there is no indecent. Or, or uh, obscene material in this act, you understand? Nothing indecent. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait a minute, now we're getting ready for Jackie's big, big, Jackie's big acting. Uh -oh. That multiple voice. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Does the sound in, in humanity like Jackie's <laughs> multiple voice what? <laughs> wait, wait, let me, let me go back a little. I gotta hear that. Wait a minute. No profanity? Wait. I've seen material in this act, you understand? Nothing indecent. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. No profanity? <laughs> no fuck shit ream blow? Hmm. How about this? How about I open up? It's all right, folks. We're going to lock the doors. And then we're going to suck on each other's genitals till our jaws are as worn out as Rosie O'Donnell's fork. It's amazing. The United States Senator just told Jackie no obscenities, and now Jackie's going to do sucking on genitals. Like he... And I like he... Get well, wait a minute. He just said, artist, what's fuck joke? shit, ream, blow, and then he says genitals? Yeah. The film's director is Sal Savarello. Well? Sal Siavarello. What what uh what Chamarolo. are some of his other credits? I don't know. <laughs> but there's no real profanity there, right? Come on, Corporal Filibuster, what am I gonna do? Break out the jokes from Joke Master Junior? I'm not working to five year olds. I'm a dirty joke teller, that's what I do. Couples in the living room. He says you're dry tonight. She says you're licking the rug. <laughs> that's killer shit. That's what I do. Listen, buddy. He's all of a sudden curly from the Three Stooges. <laughs> hey, that's, that's curly. What I do. do you think it was in his contract, too, to get a Joke Master Jr. plug in there? It had to be. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I <laughs> think he did the film for that. I'm not doing this unless I get a plug for my product. And I get to wear my Joke Man t-shirt. He, he used to get these crappy movies. And then... 
he would show up in his joke man t-shirt in the movie as a character you know what i mean like like just no he could care less he just wants that t-shirt i mean it was so disconcerting to see a joke man t-shirt on like bob the character yeah you think he got paid he just got the plug mm. If you expect to get paid for this act, there's no obscenities or, or, or indecency in it. You're fucking me with a rake. Wow. Now you can tell if you got a good sperm count, she got to chew before she swallows. <laughs> come on, that's killer shit. That's what I do. <laughs> come on, that's killer shit. Yeah. Senator, his work would be greatly compromised if we tell him to tone it down. I mean, after all, he was on the Howard Stern show. <laughs> the Howard yes. Stern. You work for that prick, Howard Stern? Oh. You mean you guys book me with no idea who I am or what I do? <laughs> well, can you imagine that? That somebody would book Jackie? Somebody doesn't know, mm. but I also I like that they get a dig in on you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm catching shit in the movie. Like, what did I do? <laughs> that piece of shit did. Who wrote this thing? <laughs> Don't be bastards. I can't believe you hired some prick from the Howard Stern show. You cunt. You call me a prick? So he's talking to the United States Senator. And the, and the, you cunt. You called me a you, prick? You, you cunt. <laughs> what is that? What's the music in the back? Oh. That's what I'm saying. Where in the Senate would you hear this music? Funny in Iron Man, you didn't see any kind of music. You didn't hear any music like that. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine. How vile and obscene your act must That's porn film music. Yeah. Like, no sex. Oh. Hey, <laughs> if you work for somebody so unchristian like as Howard Stern. <laughs> you know, you guys are funny. Nice hairdo, by the way. <laughs> I guess the lights are out in the bathroom, huh? <laughs> what, you comb your hair with static electricity? <laughs> I can't believe before you left the house this morning, you looked in the mirror and said, That's good. <laughs> Hold on, Senator. <laughs> Suppose we adjust this piece, Senator. Look, if you should say hello, you should say fucking boo. <laughs> uh, Italian restaurant, huh? You know what they call it when the Italian's got one arm shorter than the other? A speech impediment. <laughs> Hey, Senator, you know why Italians wear gold chains? To remind them where to stop shaving. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he needs an intern to catalog all these jokes. You know he doesn't need an intern for this. He told Tim uh, that he needed two interns. And, they, and Tim goes, why? Goes, this show could be so much better with two interns. <laughs> There's something I don't understand. Does Jack, like the two jokes he had prepared yesterday, does Jackie write those jokes? No. No. no? He claims He's got to write some of the jokes, right? I, I don't know. I've read a lot of those in a joke book somewhere. He collects jokes. Oh. From oh. where? <laughs> That's why I'll... Istanbul. <laughs> I'll come in a tall jar so the Italians can put their combs in there. <laughs> I think we'll live with that adjustment. If, uh, if uh, you adjust your act a bit... You're kidding. That's the offer. You know, it's a shame you haven't got a glass belly button. So when your head was this far up your ass, you could look out and see what the rest of us are doing. You crooked dope. He's like the new, he should be in the new Caddyshack. Or, mm. He's like the new Rodney Dangerfield. <laughs> Jackie with his movies. And every shitty movie he'll do, but on this show, he was he's negotiating and had to leave. He was tough with this yeah. show. He had a job where he was making money, actually. I don't think they pay him a dime on any of these movies. Do you? No, I think he gets a plug. He got the uh, yeah, Duckmaster Master but Junior. it's so much fun on the set. These guys were great boys who I worked with. <laughs> <laughs> They're great boys. <laughs> uh, let's go to Cyrus. Yes, Cyrus. Hey, now. Hey, now. Um, Iron Man was great. I actually saw it yesterday too at a screener. How do you get, sorry, it's no offense. How do you get into a screener? I, mean, uh, I just apply for like every damn contest I could my, try to win. This guy, boy, he lives some life. He's into screeners. I yeah, thought you but, had to be. Uh, uh, I thought you had to have connections to get a screener. Oh no, no, there's like a lot of people out there. Did you have to fill out a card like and tell you like what you liked about it and stuff? Was it one of those? No, I didn't have to do anything except for um, you know, just 
apply online to try to win. Oh. And the screeners like a, used to drive me nuts when I made my movie. I'd be like, well, why are we showing so many people the movie for free? Don't we need them to pay to, 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 to do a good box office? People were like, it's just a few thousand people, you know, when it's all... I go, I don't know. What are you doing? <laughs> I think Every he head just counts. Wanted, <laughs> he just told us to spread the word. You right. know, that was a great movie. Yeah, I guess it's a word of mouth type stuff. Yeah, and I, I think it has. I think it is better than Spider Man, and I love Spider Man. I think it had the best opening scene and ending scene of yeah. any uh, superhero movie. Yeah, it was really good. Bobo, you're on the air. Yeah, how you doing there, Howard? Hey, will Jackie be invited to your wedding? Will he be one of the close circle of friends that will uh, be attending, or what? Jackie's in the wedding party. Mm. You know, I. Uh, that's a good question. Now, I probably would think not, I because. You know, I really don't hang out with Jackie anymore, and Beth really has no relationship with Jackie. I mean, she doesn't really know him. If she met Jackie when we first started going out. Right. I was actually uh, spending the weekend at Dominic's house, of course, without Dominic. I used to... Right. Dominic used to offer me his house, and I said, I'll use it if you don't come, because I didn't want to spend the weekend with Dominic. I liked his house. <laughs> And he was so happy to have me at his house, he would just, like... I've know. seen that house. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, we used to have a good time there. And Jackie came out, and we hung out at that house. And Beth met him, and, uh, you know, I was telling her, hey, he's a good guy. And then, then Jackie was off the show, and, and they never had a relationship. And, and quite frankly, I don't really see Jackie anymore. I mean, unless... You guys go back a long way, though. What? Well, yeah, but it wasn't yeah. uh, pleasant at the end, honestly. I mean, yeah. was it, Robin? Not for me. No. And for years, it no. wasn't pleasant for me. Yeah, so I like Jackie very much. Uh, I used to go over his home all the time, hang out with him right. and Nancy. But, uh, I mean, I guess it would be kind of weird now to have Jackie there, right? Well, if you're not going to have Benji and you have Jackie, oh. that's crazy. I would have Jackie before Benji, though. <laughs> oh. hey, Howard, the, yeah. the, gr the greatest stories is when you used to go in his house. Remember you had that big TV and it was almost outside. You were watching it. And then you got stuck in the bathroom. Yeah, Jackie had a weird sense of decorating. <laughs> He had a table in his well, dining room. Well, it didn't room. matter where the right. walls ended with Jackie. Yeah, it was really weird. He had no, he had, it was weird. He had this little house on Long Island. Yeah. And I guess he used to have a lot of people over and have parties and stuff. So he'd have like a big dining room table, except the dining room table was bigger than the room. So Jackie would open a window and have the, the, the table sticking out the window so that it could fit in the room. Right. And I never saw anything. I was like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? Like it was, it was like like college dormitory stuff yeah. that you would do. Right. Even in, in your college dorm room, you would try to at least make sure the table fit inside the room. Right. It, 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 the table went out onto his porch. I don't even understand how you do that. All right, here, here's what I'm saying. Imagine a big, long, square table, okay? Right. okay? And you're in a dining room. Yeah. You move the dining room table in, and it doesn't fit in the room. So you open a window. So you open a window, and you right stick the, the, the edge of the table out the window. <laughs> and... The, <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, well, you know, like, like, like people in like, like college do shit. Like, like I go visit my daughter at college. And even and that's a joke, you know, like if, if they're doing it, yeah, you know, right? Like, like they do weird stuff with furniture. Yeah. You know, it's not exactly, you know, because they don't have any money. And but stuff. everything was like that with Jackie. Remember, he'd say, "Go, oh, come to my house. I have a great beach." Blah 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 blah. Right. And then you get to the house, and the route to the beach was through, you know, An broken AMP. bottles and, yeah. and yeah. abandoned <laughs> gas stations. And he'd then say you have to, to crawl me, through a fence. Yeah, then he, 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 so I'd go to his house and he'd go, park at the AMP, crawl through the bushes, uh, and then come to my house. It's a shortcut. So literally, you know, I'd go there and park at the AMP. Park at the AMP. And then, like, I'm crawling through bushes. Like, like literally uh, crawling through bushes. I think he cut a hole in the fence so yes, you didn't yes. have to walk yeah. all the way around either. Right. Well, he was, he was going to dig a tunnel, wasn't he, through one of his houses? I don't Remember? know. So he I had a shuttle. I'll tell you, like, like other weird things. Like, he was a real entertainer, and he liked to have people to his home for barbecues right. and stuff. And one time I'm there, and we're eating. And like you know, they're grilling and doing. And it was you know, it was kind of fun. And but but all of a sudden they bring out the food on like a garbage can lid, like like a garbage pail lid. Yeah, well, you be, out of garbage cans a lot there. Yeah, it would be like a big yeah. garbage can of clams. And right, like you'd go right, like, right. wow, did ja like you go, Jackie? This garbage can is it a brand new garbage? <laughs> he goes, no, we cleaned it out. You know? No, we yeah. only used the dry stuff in there. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I mean it was just grotesque the way he lived. I mean it was. <laughs> It was no wonder his nails were falling off. Right, yeah, but that he had diseases everywhere. At one of, at one of John's parties, Jackie was there. It's one of the first times I met Jackie, and I guess 
he passed that system on to John because I seem to yeah. remember Jackie by by John's enormous pool. <laughs> Like a John living in like an eight million dollar house or whatever, and uh, like he had a, a garbage can full of shit, like yeah. clams and shrimp, yeah, clams and, yeah. and shrimp, and like who wants to eat out? Of, I mean, I'm not a snob. I didn't grow up wealthy or something, but I don't want to eat out of a garbage pail lid. And you <laughs> yeah, know, really. it's not sanitary. People in the depression that yeah. wanted like, to do that. like in college, people would do weird. Not even in college would I do weird shit like that. When I, you know, I had but nothing. when you have to do something like that in college, with the know. tables out the window and stuff, you look at it and go, "Hey, look what we got to do," and you laugh because you're in college. Right. right. When yeah. you're 50 doing it, you're depressed. And the guy was making some money. I mean, it was, it was just cheap. Yeah. What about the water view? He said, didn't you have to go up to the attic and go through? Yeah, then he told me he bought, he bought this one house on the water, and I go, well, where's the water? He goes, come on, let's go look. <laughs> so we go up to the bedroom, and I figure, well, the bedroom must have water views. <laughs> let's go look. We go upstairs to the bedroom. I still don't see a water view. He goes, hold on. He goes into a closet. He pulls a chain, yeah. and these stairs come out of the closet. We crawl, we, we crawl up these stairs. To the attic. And then we're in this attic. Now, the attic, remember Cousin? it on the Adams yeah, family. Yeah, yeah. So I'm six foot five. The ceiling height must have been about three feet. No, four <laughs> feet. It's a crawl space. Right. And there was a little circular like like window yeah. in this attic that if you crawled near a, a like a like an opening, you look out and he goes, see and I'm looking out the window and he goes, No no turn your head a little more to the left. Oh God. And he considered that a water view. Besides, <laughs> with Jackie's jokes, he didn't just put on the water in the shower and go, see, it's the water. <laughs> 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 Everything was so but, weird about but, that but, cat. But, Howard, what are those chunky houses he had? He had a gorgeous house at the end of the street on the right. He could have bought that house. Yeah, it was that weird. Was beautiful. Yeah, well, what he did was he bought a bunch of shitty houses. Yeah. So he owned like half of that town. Even. Right, he kept buying houses. There's so uh, many misconceptions about Jackie because you talk to a fan and they go, a lot of them think, oh, well, he must be doing fine because doesn't he have like eight houses in Long Island? Right. That's what everybody says. No, they're like shanty houses. Uh-huh. You know, they're shanty houses. Like bungalows. Yeah, bungalows. They weren't like yeah. nice homes. The right. right, Robin? I right. mean, it might yeah, be in that one here that or... they turned into the studio that was yeah. joke land. Uh, no, there was, was Apricot Studios. <laughs> yeah, you would go over his house, and then like he he would have like a, a garage that he converted into a performance area. Yeah. And then like he would, <laughs> he would like Nancy had a whole performance that she would do, like like, like kids, like college Yeah, because they you know they turned one house into their own studio. So you would sit there in the driveway on your ass or in a lawn chair and watch Nancy perform in the garage. But here's the big question. He seemed, he seems like he was always happy. Do you think that's bullshit? No, it's all bullshit. The really? Because he seems happy. like he seems like a happy guy. No, there's a Fred. Would you characterize Jackie as a happy guy? I think he talks him talks himself into being happy. Yeah. Well, I didn't. See I don't that. know. I mean, there was a part of him that you sort of envied because he did seem so carefree. Mm. You know, like remember that party that he threw for me, and like they were so into whatever they were doing, the guests were just left to fend for themselves. <laughs> yeah. I just thought there was a lot of weed and right. alcohol. There was a lot well, going on. It's kind of hard to have a bad time, I guess, if you're like in inebriated. Yeah, because he he went out. He took, you know he would. Take beers and put them in a thing and put them in his teeth and he would s swim out to the jetty. Yeah, yeah. Then like you a that, Labrador. Then you go out to this water that he swam in every day and literally when you came out you were covered in like slime. Oh yeah. And Red tide. I remember Tom Chisano was out there and he came out. He went swimming and he came out. And he goes, "Don't go in the water." He says to me, "I go, what, what's going on?" He goes, "Look at my body. It's covered in slime." We don't like, know what like, that. He is. goes, "It's just like a thick mucus." I've been slime. So then Jackie would all of a sudden go, Valdez, Come on. Leak. What are you talking about? The water is beautiful. <laughs> and then he got, and he had a piece of wood that floated in the water. And then he would put two beers in his teeth, like, like in his mouth, and swim with the beers in his teeth like a dog, like a St. Bernard. And he'd get up on this fucking piece of wood and lay out there and drink. And, and, and oh, this is the red. Because I'm telling you, I know I know guys like that, and they, they seem happy to me. I'm, I'm envious well, of them. That's what I'm saying. That part of him seemed very happy to me. And, yeah, that part, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. The part when, when he comes in and says stuff like, uh, 
Mm-hmm. I have a great time doing all these movies. That I, that's got to be a bit of a facade. He's an intelligent guy. I've been on <laughs> no, movies he, comparable he to that. You can't be happy being it, on a set. He of- has no ability to know if a movie is good or not. You heard him. I mean, he doesn't. He doesn't know they're shitty movies. He thinks they're great. They're so much fun. They're fabulous. Right? He, he, said he got five laughs out of John's movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that, like, you take the dialogue and that movie that we just listened to. You know, when you think of like all that goes into, you got to get money for a movie and work on a script. And, oh, like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like before you shoot it, you got to make sure everything's like perfect. And and that was the dialogue they decided. <laughs> like, somebody said, "Okay, now sign the check. Get get a camera. Get lights here. We're ready to shoot this." Was, well, you know, I mean, Jackie hasn't met a movie he hasn't liked. <laughs> I wonder if Jackie's never like has he ever gone to a movie and said that was a bad movie? Remember. That one that he did yeah. with, uh, you yeah. know, all the Long Island comedians were in it. They were trying yeah. to get you in it. They yeah. had a big premiere. Right. right. Yeah, right. I was in that. Like, they <laughs> got me to do it. it. Yeah, and it was a big mistake. Uh, what did you do? Uh, when I was first starting my career, they a bunch of Jackie's friends asked me to do something. I was at NBC. I didn't yeah. know. You know, I went over. It was fun for me to do it. It was so bad. It's so embarrassing, you know. What are you doing? It? I play an anchor man who has a nervous breakdown or something. No kidding. Yeah. Like for three seconds, I mean, and then the guy put a big box together and go, Howard Stern's movie, and you know, it became, instead right, of writing that's why became, they had a big premiere. Yeah, but you you know, Howard Stern's movie, and it was, just, it was just horrible. I was listening to some of the wrap-up show yesterday. Like, they said that Jackie, I don't know, was to this extent, that he saved all the jokes he wrote, hmm. and uh, the, the, I never heard Gary go into this much detail about what he did, but he saved the jokes, he would date them, mm-hmm. and yeah. he would... Uh, Put what hour he wrote them in and who the guest was that he wrote them, if there was a guest. And then he would go to his mother's house and put them in a big uh, loose leaf binder and he had stacks and stacks of these things. Do you think if there was, do you think there's any fan out there, like what, like a really, like really strict, like main, like stay Howard Stern fan? Hmm. Do you think those are worth money to? I Zero. Bet, I, I bet. I bet a big fan would Maybe, like to buy some. But I thought. I think he, Artie's right. I think some nutball yeah, would spend think money why, for it. I think why Jackie saved him, he never felt he got any credit right. for what he did on the show, so he would catalog all these jokes in the hopes that one day when somebody said to him, you know, what was your contribution to the show? He'd go, wait a second. I was the fucking show. Come here. <laughs> and then he would take him up and see these reams of paper. Of you know, you know who adopted that 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 thing too was like John. Yeah. Apparently, John did the same thing, except he used that in contract negotiation. Yeah, yeah. You, I don't know if you heard. We, we no. talked we talk about this that? on the show yesterday. John would would sometimes write, you know, send you jokes on the computer. Right. And he fancied himself a joke writer. So what happened was. John would write down the joke that he sent to Howard if it was used, and John would throw it in a box, you know, on a scrap of paper. Then when he went in for a contract negotiation with Tom, he would dump this box on Tom's desk, and Tom goes, what is this? I said, that's what I do on the show. And then I would say to John, I would say, John, let's say you never wrote any of those jokes. Do you think the show would still be a success? Right. Uh, Dominic, you're on the air. Well, first of all, two observations. Oh, and the other thing I have to say is, what the funniest thing I got to just finish this, Dominic. Yeah. Sure. So then Jackie had all those books of of all of the jokes. jokes he ever wrote. That's a, yeah. So then there was a flood at his yeah. house because the house was like it was like it was. Remember in the the um, Little Red Riding Hood, the houses were constantly getting blown down, or because they're, so. <laughs> The the house, there was the three a, little pigs. There yeah. was a big rainstorm. Oh, the big bad wolf would blow it down. And the next thing you know, Jackie's whole house is covered in water. So he, so Dominic went over to help Jackie out with the insurance or something, and because I don't even know if there was insurance. And then Jackie was taking clothespins and hanging them up on a, hanging his jokes up on a clothesline, like clothesline, underwear. <laughs> like underwear, because he wanted them to dry out. <laughs> and that's Is that right, Dominic? Well, what happened was he wanted them to be dry humor. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> what happened? What, what happened was that it wasn't rain, how it was flooding. Right. Whenever the flooding would come in from the the ocean or the water, his house would actually go under. Parts of it would be underwater. Like his <laughs> he had an indoor pool. So, oh my so God. then he 
he, you know, he had a problem with the insurance company, and I, and I, of course, I came over to try to help him. We go downstairs, and literally, it's about three, four feet of water in the basement. He's in it. So somehow, he gets me to walk. I think I roll my pants up, take my shoes off, and I'm standing in it. And all of a sudden, things are floating by. It's, you know, jokes and papers. And then he's got a, a string and he's hanging. All worse than shit. And then the best part was he would something would float by. He'd pick it up and say, "Oh, that was a great joke." And then he'd tell it and start laughing. So he's putting it up on the on the. And then he would hang it up. On, yeah, a clothespin. He put it up on a on a. Dominic told me these, these, these sheets of paper oh. hanging from a clothesline. The whole act was floating by. Right. It's like a counterfeiter. There's millions of dollars of jokes here. <laughs> you know, Howard, I think you're right, by the way. I think Jackie's waiting for, not only that's his contribution to the show, but I think he's that's still a book. That's a book. No, I think he's waiting for, like, the Museum of Broadcasting to come right. and put it in the museum. Yeah. I'm telling you, one of these days, there'll be the greatest jokes from the Howard Stern show. Yeah. On eBay. I'm, and I'm telling you, I bet there's a guy out there who'll buy it. <laughs> How would, uh, did you think yesterday, and all of you are great there, but did you think he was a little nervous? He spoke so quickly and... and well, I think Jackie was uh, certainly wanting to do well. He he actually came in yeah. to kill, yeah. And he, and he did. He was great. Yeah. It was great yeah. having him here. And we do we tell these stories uh, only because we love. In, and in absolute affection. We yes. Tell these How many plugs would you say he asked you for yesterday, which... <laughs> You know, it's funny. Actually, he wasn't as bad as he usually is. Like, but the funny thing was, at the end, I loved how he kept saying, say hello to this one, say hello to that one, yeah. say hello. And he's not kidding. 